Hey there everyone, this is Hellcowbling VLDCX and today 89th place is where we're starting. There's a lot of 89th. Uh, Very Danger Lips by LHB. Who knows what to expect? Very Danger Lips. Just gonna be lift. There might be dangerous and there might be bad grammar, but it's like bad grammar on purpose. It makes it funny. I do that all the time. Very Let's Go! Don't really know what to expect. Oh, it's an auto scroll, huh? Alright, we got a big plant. It's got lips, even though it's a plant. Don't know how it got that. Maybe it's petals? But it also has like normal petals. We got a Dagadon right here, and we got a guy just running back and forth on his little ledge like he owned the place. Well, nuts y'all, it's Butterbridge! <laughs> Oh, good old butter bridge. Lose your lunch to the bridge. Bridge and bridge. Yeah, it's, you know, one of them is the music term, and the other one is the architectural term. They're not the same word, so it counts as a valid rhyme. That's how it goes. Look at that guy. This is very Sumar World, which, you know, makes sense. But, like, this legit feels like. M Mario World. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's hard to explain. It doesn't feel like- Oh boy. Uh, yeah, I, uh, didn't see Richard here. I did not take him into consideration when I planned my moves. Oh, uh, what? Oh, didn't take into consideration that little pollen up there either. I was looking down at the bottom of the screen, man. I was looking at what was going on and I was like, yeah. Yeah, it's like, you know, like, no, the palette's not changed, the music is vanilla, this is a very... Taking vanilla very seriously here. I respect that. Just putting all your eggs in the gameplay level design basket. And, hey, you know what? Awesome. Fantastic. And then you take that, and you kind of escalate it further by making it... An auto scroll level, which like your levels of daringness are like shooting through space here. I did a bad move, and that might cost me. Uh, I might be able to get this mushroom here back. So really, we're just kind of back to where we were. Since enemies, like they're not really the problem. I mean, there are enemies that are problem, but they're all fireproof. Like this guy here, Richard. Oh yeah, it set him on fire. He's barely gone even notice. Like, you'd think that would matter to him? What with being all beard? <laughs> that won't let him to slow down at all, okay? Sentence being said. Alright, well, this is one of these setups. Like, I could see it. I could see it kind of- Oh, and we got a volcano on top. We got a big wall. Um, there might be danger exactly in front of me. I just kind of jumped on this radish because it felt safe. My safety radish. Please don't remove it from me. Alright, so I'm just gonna go here. There you go. Bounce on that turtle like it was a Wednesday. This is being recorded on a Wednesday. And, alright, there's the last Dagadon. It is now free from captivity. Inside my pocket. Second zone, it's the Rope Charlie goal. Yeah, my favorite mathematical function. Finally represented in Super Mario World form. This was a pretty good level. Very straightforward. Very, you know, you get what you get, man. And that's pretty rad. I admire the confidence, if anything else. Temple of Atlantis by Level ASMR, which, you know, it's, that's the funny part because there's no ASM here. This is Temple of Atlantis. Gonna go in the bottom of the water Just off the coast of Chocolate Island It's where it's always been at Alright, we're swimming This may come as a shock There's something interesting Like in the back of the music If you understand what I mean Like, sort of like There's like a wave effect instrument thing It's kind of neat I think I'm here, maybe not Okay, there's not a whole lot of time So like, as soon as I thought Atlantis my mind went to that once Magal X level, you might remember, of the same Voyage of Atlantis. That's like a huge glass-based affair. Uh, by the distribution of the Dagadons here, I got a feeling we're gonna get a much more compact experience. Hey, look at that! Whoa, whoa, it's so flashy. 
Uh oh. Yeah, it's so flashy. It's a lure to attract the gaze of the Mario because they want to get in on that coin action. You know, that's, that's a hunting strategy that evolved quite naturally. That skeleton's throwing his femurs. That's a bad idea. You need those. There's a difference between sweet. Uh, wow, that Potobo, relentless in its pursuit. But I made it though, and I'm gonna cut this tape. There we go. Pro that pipe's probably a respawn pipe, you know, if you die in the second half of the universe. When you need to be brought back to this universe, you sing a song and throw you in the gallows. It's really rude, honestly. I wish I didn't do that. Dead fish in front of me, still swimming by with dexterity. Just kind of hiding in a corner. That's exactly in the way of the potobo. Yeah, I've had better ideas before. Dang it, like, what is up with me in consistently choosing the worst paths to dodge that Potobo? I am being, I'm a little upset by just how consistent I've been with this. Here we just get a sweet rail. Maybe there used to be a saw there. That's the mystery of Atlantis. Wet up with that rail. Wow, this level, you just go. You just go. It's this really sweet atmosphere. Like, it's very vanilla. You can tell all the castle parts. But the way it's used is just straightforward and fun. Putting out the swimming level. I've said it before. Like, lots of guts right there. I thought this was fine. This was a fine little fine, fine, fine. Today's theme, our level at our 89th place. Cave Escape 3 by Mario Fan 22 Maybe he was hoping that people would keep going down the countdown and end up giving him number one. So he got three, two, two, and then one. They could have also gone one, 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 but <laughs> they decided to ignore all of that. What even am I saying? There's a little bit of everything. We're here. Cave Escape 3. Just... Check it out. You're in a cave. We're gonna escape it. We got these wooden platforms, wooden boards, pulled a bow and switch galore. He slid right on his belly, he's gonna be heard in Nelly. You see, the song is addressed to an otherwise unknown audience person called Nelly. And there's a secret exit somewhere. I probably don't care. I don't know. Some, some secret exits having fun, but a lot of them, like, I could get, hey, here's the key, hey, here's the door, there you go. Use your imagination. I feel like if I can do that, you probably made a mistake by adding that secondary exit. Like, I don't want to judge or anything. I'm not a judge, but you gotta hit that. Like, me guess. So that's for the Dagadon. Oh, I see. You're supposed to like use his help. You're like, hey, Mr. Beetle, thanks a lot for the lift. Hey, Mr. Plant, I think you're a jerk and you're all spotted like you were a poison mushroom. Wow! Look at that. See, there's a second Dagadon in the level. There are five of them, and if you get all five, you get one extra life. The irony is very often, uh, they're harder to get collectively than the moon, which is three life all at once. <laughs> Welcome to the real world. Okay, so there's a spring door, there's a Charlie, and there's a bat. I totally avoided it on purpose. I saw that bat and I was like, look at that bat. I'm not gonna get touched by that bat. And did I get touched? Nope. Leaves me completely emotionally cold. I do not have any empathy for that bat. I guess that might be rude. I guess I just bounced off of that guy. So, is this a secret exit? You find a silver pea and go down here. Or you find a brown pea, blue pea, and you go up there. You just, you just find things, and you use them in places. You use a silver pea and go here. There's a cannon there that wants to fire. Fire, cannon! Stop taunting me! Just do it! Just do it, alright? Just let low your explosive tempo, and I will destroy all that I see. Oh, that, that took a turn. Uh, Charlie. Hey, I've been doing that yesterday. Well, you're a silly man. Uh, well, there's a dag. I could try and get. Yeah. Huh? Okay, I need to be big to be able to get the silver pea. I can get big here. 
So I guess to get the secret exit, you need to get here big. So you get that P, you do that there, you move around in despair. It's fine, whatever. I get the picture. We're gonna we'll move on with the level with Ted and friends. Ted and there's the friend all together at last. Look at that little guy. He's made of. Oh, that's solid. Okay. My eyeballs are working. All right. That never happened before. I don't know what's going on. Oh, I see. Well, you can just do a jump there, though. Like, you don't need. You don't really need the plastic block. Like, I appreciate it wanting to help. It's just not necessary. And I mean, like, it's always kind of a tragic thing, you know? Someone really wants to help, but their help is just not needed. Like, how do you deal with that? Like, you, you want to be nice, like they're trying to be nice, you don't want to be a jerk, but refusing help always feels like such a jerky thing, you know? It's... Welcome to modern society! And me blabbering on about nothing. Let's go in this yellow pipe. Oh boy, it's the yellow pipe zone! You press this thing and you can get the last Agadon! Whoa! Here we go! Legends will be told about this. Also, you get to skip out on one urchin obstacle. Coins made of money. Dolphin made a toonie. And I just did a real bad idea. Yeah! Here we go! Blasting off once again. Look at that little guy. He got pistols all over his body. He's going to feed. Uh, on whatever he can find at the bottom of the floor of the ocean. I just had a terrible idea. That's really not how you're supposed to do that part, but it happened. I mean, I'm hearing Potobos. So... <laughs> feels like one, like, so, like, you get this one, like, dolphin and muncher zone. It feels like a zone. I, although the level is not long or anything, like, not at all, I still psychologically felt like I was ready for the level to end. Because, you know, we just went through a thing, we even had a little bonus point. It felt like a logical conclusion. So to have a, a second part after that, that is not trivial, not in the sense that it is hard, necessarily, but in the sense that, you know, there are things to do, and there is danger to navigate. Feels a little bit strange. I'm not gonna go for fire. I don't need it. I got all the fire I need right here. Check it out. Uh. You see that? Right out of my palm. It's like I practiced for hours. So, I guess the proper way to do this is to just kind of jump around. Just like, jump around and wait around obstacles are very popular. If you want to be a hit at your local pie eating contest, you know what to do. Like, see, this is. But now I'm just kind of. You, you just. You're just waiting a thousand years, it feels like. For things to kind of coincide with something that's nice. And then you can make it through, and then you can do all the well wishes you want in the world. Alright, so there's no pits or anything. There is Potobo, but. Uh. Oh, and a block. Uh, was I supposed to pick that block? If I wanted to bop that thing up there. Did I want to bop that thing up there? Very possibly. I mean, it's there, waiting to be bopped. Uh, it shall never be bopped. Yeah, so yeah, I think it's a good exit. You get to the end of that first part big, then you bop de wop dop de dop de do. I don't think I escaped the, the cave because that goal was still inside the cave. Mario, you failed your mission! Now you'll be eaten by piranhas!